Nicole Kidman is an Australian icon, one of our most successful exports. So it's surprising to discover she was actually born in Hawaii in 1967. At four, her parents moved to Sydney and very quickly she began taking acting lessons. At only 15, she landed her first gig appearing in the video clip for Pat Wilson's song, Bop Girl. She went on to BMX Bandits and landed minor parts on TV shows like A Country Practice. And with a bit of experience under her belt, she dropped out of school to pursue acting full time because she knew it was her passion. When I act, I can kind of get lost in somebody else's skin and, and I can hide behind a character. But if I had to walk down a hall like that as Nicole, forget it. But if I can put on a facade um, and uh, hide behind hide behind somebody else, then, then I can do it. She bowled the critics over with her fierce and determined performance in the Australian thriller Dead Calm, which led to a one-way ticket to Hollywood. But she found the LA lifestyle very different. Being an Australian, you tend to be a little more laid back. It's, it's difficult to get on the phone and say, listen, you know, I, I really want to go in and meet on this. And as an actor, you tend to have insecurities as well. So as soon as you hear, uh, well, they're not interested in you or something, uh, you tend to go, oh, well, OK. <laughs> but I've, being in America, you have to, it's very, very competitive. And so it's one of the things you've really got to become, um, I think, more passionate about it. and. Uh, in a more overt way. Dead Calm won Nicole a fan that would change her life forever, Tom Cruise. He was so impressed, he made sure they co-starred together in Days of Thunder. And like lightning, he became her leading man in more ways than one when they got married. As Mr and Mrs Cruise, they quickly went on to star together in the adventurous drama Far and Away. It was great to work with Tom and I've always wanted to work with him, again, after I worked with him on Days of Thunder and we had a lot of fun and we'd love to do um, more movies together. 1995 was a huge year for Nicole. She played the sexy love interest in Batman Forever and received rave reviews for the black comedy To Die For, where she played a ruthless woman who'll stop at nothing to become famous. So being in such a competitive industry, did Nicole see any similarities between herself and the character? Obviously, yeah, I'm married, I have two kids and I have a career. Um, but I think, I, I hope I have it in a lot better perspective than she does. I mean, she's to the point of being absolutely ruthlessly obsessive. I think there's a difference between healthy ambition and ruthless obsession. Her mesmerising performance in To Die For won her a Golden Globe. Keen to further explore her acting range, she tackled as many different genres as possible, starring in Jane Campion's period drama, Portrait of a Lady, to the action blockbuster, The Peacemaker, and in the psychological thriller, Eyes Wide Shut, with the legendary filmmaker, Stanley Kubrick. When he sent me the script, I was making a film with Jane Campion, who I also think is extraordinary. So, um... I was stunned that he was making a movie that he wanted Tom and I to do together. It just seemed, it, it seemed too good to be true. And um, during To Die For with Gus Van Sant, we would discuss Kubrick a lot. And even with Jane, I would discuss Kubrick a lot. So I, I had a, a feeling of um, understanding his work and, and I was really, really, um, overwhelmed. Despite the long, gruelling shooting schedule, which meant filming took over 400 days, Nicole took it all in her stride. The way Kubrick works, nothing, by the time you come to shoot it, it doesn't seem difficult. It's just embedded in you. So you're not dealing with, oh my gosh, am I going to get this? Because you know he's not going to stop till he's got what he wants. So then it's just, a, it's just allowing yourself to exist within the skin of that character. She nailed the controversial role. And two years later, she impressed us again in the chilling horror, The Others. Next came the musical spectacular Moulin Rouge, where Nicole not only had to act and dance, but also sing. When Baz came to me with this, that was the thing I was terrified about. I wasn't terrified about doing the acting, but I was terrified about not being able to deliver in um, the with the singing and the dancing and he said no we're going to I, I we're going to do an audition process to see whether your voice is there and we did that and then he said I, I want you to do the role the visually spectacular moulin rouge generated a lot of awards buzz and at the 2001 golden globes nicole was not only nominated for her role in the musical but also for her performance in the others i got two nominations and i'm having a fun night i don't care what happens 
With her career soaring, her personal life hit an all-time low. After almost 10 years of marriage, during which they adopted two children, Tom and Nicole divorced. But Nicole put on a brave face and some high heels and threw herself into work. But she was careful to choose projects that stimulated her creatively. I kind of choose characters because of where I think they're going to take me in my life. And I enjoy working with um, directors who are obsessive. Um, <laughs> passionate would probably be a euphemism for obsessive. <laughs> um, and and, and I, I like the chemistry between the actor and the director. A lot of the time that's what I choose a project for. One of the projects she chose was The Hours, which gave her the amazing chance to work with two of her idols, Meryl Streep and Julianne Moore, both of whom she hadn't met before filming began. Something quite unusual about that, but then now we've, obviously we know each other well and I'm just so happy to share a movie with um, Meryl Streep. I mean, for me, she was the goddess, you know, she was the great actress who I was um, aspiring to be, so to actually be in a movie with her and with Julianne, who I just think is extraordinarily talented. In this film, Nicole's true acting brilliance was revealed through the challenging and unglamorous role of Virginia Woolf. Her incredibly intense performance won her a BAFTA, Golden Globe and the biggest honour, the Best Actress Oscar. So how did she create such a believable and moving performance? I don't know. And I think that that is the most honest answer. There's not like I have some technique or something that I say, oh, I know exact. And it's why I suppose I don't have an enormous amount of confidence when I go back into something. It's because it's so intangible. You're not quite sure how you do it, and therefore you're not quite sure how you're going to do it again. So... <laughs> um, that's, in, and in terms of Virginia, I think it's timing, I think it's, um, it's something that you cannot put your fingers on. To play Virginia convincingly, Nicole put vanity aside and wore a prosthetic nose that made her virtually unrecognisable. The nose was something that Anne Roth, the costume designer, and Stephen Daldry suggested, and I was like, Yes, let's go. I mean, I love anything that um, says let's change who I am or change. I mean, that's part of being. You use your body, you use your voice, you use your psyche as your tools. Nicole also found love again off screen. In 2005, she met country singer Keith Urban at the G'day USA event, and the rest, as they say, is history. They married in 2006, and in 2008, they had a gorgeous baby girl, Sunday Rose. Despite the ups and downs she's experienced personally and professionally, Nicole remains grounded. I think there's times in your life when you are working and you don't even quite understand where it's coming from, how it's happening, and if the timing is right and if you're lucky enough, you get the, you get the opportunity of a few good roles in that time period. An Oscar-winning actress, style icon and devoted mum, Nicole Kidman truly is a great Australian success story. Stay tuned to Star Picks for all of the movies you know and the actors you love. Broadcast in glorious high definition with 5.1 surround sound where available. For more of the best in entertainment news, check out your movie network channels. It's all together better, on screen and at mnc.tv.